What I have here, my friends, is a fishing net. Oh, it's probably four foot long if I'm lucky. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, it's about four foot. Now, if you think about it, fishing from that pontoon boat, you got to reach farther than four feet just to reach the water without leaning over the side. If somebody catches a big fish, we want to be able to scoop him in the boat without leaning out, falling in ourselves. So I looked around for aluminum pipe. I've got these poles here from that were telescoping poles for dip nets around the swimming pool. That one's a little bit and just a little bit too big. But if you pull this rubber top off here, this pipe here, I messed up the threads on it a while ago with a pair of pliers, but I think I can get it to cinch up. We're going to see if we can put this handle on there and make our dip net considerably longer. Wish I hadn't boogered up them threads, but I think it's going to be all right. Well, yeah, that fits pretty snug. So by the time I see where I grabbed it with the pliers and messed them up, by the time I cinch it up, I need to get the right length because once you tighten it with them boogered up threads, it's going to be lose its telescoping ability. without some wrenches. Let's see, I stuck it in there pretty good distance. If I tighten it up right there, that gives me a net. Oh, every bit, every bit of eight feet long. Put me a little duct tape here, or unless I can find a plastic tip to put over the end of this. Now let's just tighten this booger bear up. Oh. Providing it'll tighten. Oh, it's tightening just fine. So, if you got a net and you want to make it longer, don't use a pair of pliers on the plastic threads, and you'll still have a telescoping net. But that inside pipe on that dip net from, well, I think probably Wally Mark scares them, or uh, I know Lowe's building material does. You want to make one, the pipe itself don't cost but a whole lot of money. I know aluminum's not cheap. All right, Booger Bear, you should be tightening up right about now. Somebody suggested I name my boat Booger Bear. Okay, that don't want to tighten anymore. Snug it just a little bit. pull that apart if I tried. A little duct tape and we're in business. So I'll reach off the boat and scoop up that big bass or he'll take his net and reach up there and scoop me. I'll teach you to scoop me out of the water. Get out of here people all par. This thing here has a handlebar grip just like on a bicycle. If I can slide that thing off it might fit. But how do you get a handlebar grip off a metal pipe? We're going to heat it with a hair dryer. Probably not soft enough. Let's try. Love it, dog. It came right off. Now, the question is, did we waste our time or is it going to fit? 
Ooh, it's going to fit. Going to fit real good. Time that plastic cools off, it'll be there to stay. Yes, sir, rebob. You know what? I should have put us a string in there. Give you an extra little reach. All right. And we'll make us a bracket. And store that net right there when we're underway. Don't want people tripping over it. Let's come up with a bracket. I'm gonna reach out there and get that bass and shake him up a little bit. Say, now nah, you're a cull. We'll let him go. How do we make a bracket? Maybe a piece of PVC we could slide it right into. There you go, thinking again, Walter. Where are you going to get some dang PVC? Well, if you think about it, people walking around on a boat don't want to be tripping over a 10-foot fishing net. So let's hang it on the outside of the boat. When I catch that big one, I'm going to holler, Hey, Mama, go get me the net. All she's going to have to do is reach over here on the side. I got some thin wall PVC. I'm going to put a piece there. And a piece down there. Stick it on there with some hose clamps. Let's see. A couple of twist ties are to hold it on there. And when I'm driving down the highway, I can just pull the net off and lay it up on the deck. It's not likely to blow off anyway. Let's build that bracket. See how she looks on there. They're a little bit close together to suit me, but doesn't matter as long as they hold in that. Right up there. I raised it up about a foot. It's up above my whole ID number now. And it'd probably be easier to get loose from inside the boat. I like it. Thanks for watching my video, my friends.